Now, oh, hello again. Okay, I took some, you know, as a follow-up to my video about the California weather being, you know, summertime canceled, I've done this follow-up. You know, I did some screen captures off the internet. Okay, this one from Comcast. Early June record heat persists. And you know, it says in the test text, there's been the, the record heat has been dominating portions of the Midwest and the South, and is now sp spreading to the Northeast. And also, it says that in Houston, Texas, it reached an all-time record June high temperature of 105, second day in a row. Um, that normally would set no records here in June. I mean, that's just that happens almost every every summer. No big whoop. Of course, we don't have the humidity, but uh, in any case, it's they've got the heat and we don't. Okay, Tuesday, June seventh. These cities are predicted to ha set records for high temperatures, or at least to have temperatures, you know, in the running for the record. And those cities in red are most likely to um, set new high temperature records for June. This is um, 1.45 Eastern Standard Time, June 7th. Out here it was 10.45 p.m. The red line, that's the isothermic line. That's areas of equal temperature. Now this, of course, is an S, you know, approximation. You notice it goes it, it goes down to around Flagstaff and goes up the west side of the, the, the Rockies. Then it goes into Canada. Dips down into Minnesota and back into Canada. Cuts across southern Maine. And the record, I mean the prediction for tomorrow, out here, it's going to warm up. They're predicting about 17 degrees. Now that line is mostly in the United States, but if you notice, places like Detroit, Windsor City, Montreal, Quebec, all those places. Up in Canada, it's going to be warmer than here. Bangor, Maine will be the same. Nova Scotia. Do people go vacation in sunny Nova Scotia? No, they go to sunny California. 77. Look over here. West Coast, around LA, 67, 10 degrees cooler. Ain't no one surfing in that. Or, well, a few diehards maybe, but you know, you would go surfing in California, Southern Cal, not Nova Scotia. Okay, look, looking at uh, nearby weather. 825 was 59 degrees, while the um, the maximum temperature at 9 p.m. was 60. Uh, because of the, the warm front moving in, warmer air mass, uh, the, the high temperature came about six hours late. Normally it's 3 p.m., but... Okay, 60. Central Cal. Concord. This is Concord, Vermont, because you'll notice it say up there, the nearby location, Manchester Airport. 60 degrees, 60 degrees Fahrenheit. This was at 11.30 at night. You know, I mean, are their nighttime temperatures are easy equaling our daytime maximum temperatures. What's wrong? Montpelier. The the way the image was displayed, I had to um, take out every other hour to show every two hours. At 8 a.m., they equaled us. At 10 a.m., they passed us up by 9 degrees. Now, people, this is Vermont versus Central Cal. Okay. That was Vermont. Meanwhile, let's look at Lake Tahoe. 8.30 p.m. It was 45 degrees. And you would notice for snow, they had 9 tenths of an inch of snow. Now normally, people would be starting the backpacking and, and canoeing uh, and sailing on Donner Lake, Silver Lake, Tahoe, Lake Tahoe. But when it's, it's snowing nine-tenths of an inch, people are skiing. The ski resorts are still open. Same thing with Oregon and Washington. Now, I can guarantee you 
that there is no skiing in, in New England. Now when they're getting 70, 80 degrees, that's no probably all gone. You know, I mean, I know that I'm going to get some nasty comments, but there's nothing like the, nothing like the, like proof, nothing like facts. This is just wacko, wacko weather, and we all know why. Bye.